Good everybody, what's good? This your boy JT, uh, opposite from the norm. Um, I just had to do a video real quick. And I, I know a lot of people going to be thinking, man, they hating on the brother, they hating on the brother. <sighs> All right, let me set it up first. This wonderful couple right here you're seeing. On the left, you got Motto, former Flavor Love star, Delicious. On the right, you got the brother, uh, Raymond Santana, who was uh, part of the Central Park Five that got falsely accused and sent to prison for all those years for something for a crime they didn't commit. Um, they finally got exonerated, sued the state of New York, and got paid. So, they're engaged now. Delicious and Raymond Santana. And they get a lot of flack because people are looking at the brother. Uh, <laughs> they look at the brother like, look at him. He look dopey, simpy, chubby. He ain't famous in a good way. Unfortunately, he went through something bad. And now he's engaged with delicious, big booty delicious. So everybody's looking like, how the hell that happened? So I watched the video and he was talking to TMZ. So apparently... Uh, he says that they met a while back through a mutual friend, which happened to be Candy, from um, former singer from Escape. Her husband was having a birthday party, and that's where he met Delicious at a while back. Um, so then he says he was liking her pictures on Instagram. He liked about three or four pictures, and then uh, Delicious hit him up and was like, the next time you like my picture, it better lead to a date. It's, it's kind of weird because it's like, no, no offense, but what would make her want him to go on a date with her? And then plus, how you know he even got the money to take you on type places you go. Like, I think Delicious gets around five bands, five thousand dollars to go do a, a, a event or something like that, like five grand. So she out there still living off her name, you know what I'm saying, from the show Flavor Love, and she still out the showing that ass <laughs> and I'm tripping off it because I'm like yo uh, so I'm seeing a lot of people going in they don't like it delicious online she cussing people like why the fuck you worry about fuck y'all go get a, a job or a better job and you know what I'm saying and he just kind of just saying like why y'all hating but I see what people is saying because it's just weird it's like I see if he was um behind the scenes person that was a mogul or something like that in real estate whatever getting money and look handsome. Because her last husband was, I think he was like a shape dude. You know what I'm saying? Had a little money. You know what I'm saying? And it just it just looked weird. You know what I'm saying? It just look at them. It, they just don't go together. Like, you got this 41-year-old thought. And you got this 40-something-year-old simp. You know what I'm saying? That's what they look like. And it's sad because she still, and then look like she bleached her skin. Because I don't remember her being that damn light skin. And it's like... Do y'all believe that they really in love? They've been dating for three, four months, allegedly. Three, four months. And now, he engaged to her. Y'all can go look on YouTube if you want to. Them get engaged. Some heifer in the background. You got them, girl. You got them. And it's like, really? Okay. So, I mean, you know, if he's simple enough, because I seen her shit say something about, she never thought she'd find a soulmate. I'm like, all them dudes you've been dating, you never thought you'd find a soulmate. And then he likes your pictures, and now you want to go on a date with him. And somebody said something interesting in the comments uh, section I seen on one video. They was like, man, please, that shit going to add to a TV show. And I was like, yeah, that might, yeah, yeah, watch. Y'all mark that comments word, commenters word, and my words. This shit going to turn into a storyline for a TV show. Watch. She gonna find a way to pimp that shit and get a get a get a bag out of it. Watch, which I respect. Get, get, get y'all get that money, but some people is just like. And then another person said some real shit. It was like, yo, because of his story, that's gonna keep her relevant. And I'm like, yeah, watch. That's that's what's gonna happen. So you know, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I just wanted to talk about it real quick. Y'all tell me what y'all think. She's simping him, simping and pimping him. Because of the notoriety she's gonna get, because of who he is, and they gonna and, and making it look like she's a good person because she's with somebody that 
people know she will not date? Do y'all think he being a simp and he's okay with it because I got big booty delicious? Because he said she's mine, she's off the market. Do y'all actually think that's real love? Or do y'all think that's some simp shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, you still can go on Instagram and see her twerking and showing ass and all of this shit. So, like, I seen another brother say, yo, you ain't change her. I don't think you're going to change her last name, but you ain't going to change nothing else about her. So y'all holla at your boy, man. Like, share, comment. Make sure you subscribe if this is your first time checking out Opposite from the Norm. I'm going to get at y'all. Holla at your boy. Chip.